Known for being the clown of the canine world, pugs are a wonderful breed of dog. Compact and sturdy, these dogs are known for their great sense of humor that is sure to make you laugh every day. However, pugs aren't for everyone, so for this video, we'll talk about the 8 reasons why you should not get a pug. Originally used as lap dogs, pugs are happiest in the presence of their humans. They do make great apartment pets, but these dogs will not thrive in a home where they are left alone for long periods of time. They can be stubborn, but with patience and proper training, these dogs will learn basic house rules in no time. However, there are certain things that you need to consider before fully deciding if this breed is perfect for you. So, make sure to watch the whole video to find out. Hello there and welcome to Smart Dog Lover. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe first for your daily dose of dog-related content. As mentioned earlier, for today's video, we'll talk about the 8 reasons why you should not get a pug. So, without further ado, let's begin. Number 1. Do not get a pug if you're an allergy sufferer. Pugs have double coats that shed a lot. And that fallen hair, they will stick everywhere. Your clothes, furniture, carpet, and everywhere in your house. This makes pug a poor choice for allergy sufferers. In addition, if you don't have enough time to brush your dog and clean your home, then you should not get this breed. But if you decide to do so, investing in a high-quality vacuum will be a great help. And since we're already on this topic, let's talk about the grooming needs of this breed. Grooming pugs is not a lot of work, but it has to be done every day. Brush their hair regularly to minimize the amount of hair they shed. Since they are known for their deep facial wrinkles, you should clean their folds every day using a damp cloth or napkin. If you are not able to clean them regularly, it may cause bacteria and fungus buildup which can lead to bad smell and infection. Bathe them once they develop a doggy odor, about once a month. Number 2. Do not get a pug if you're a light sleeper. Light sleepers beware! Pugs are known to snore loudly which means they won't let you peacefully sleep at night. But if you're persistent on having this breed, prepare yourself with earplugs to help combat these dogs' loud snores. Number 3. Do not get a pug if you love going on activities under the heat of the sun. Pugs are very sensitive to heat. Aside from the fact that dogs do not sweat, Pugs also have a flat face, which means that the amount of air they breathe isn't enough to cool them down, thus making them prone to overheating. When pugs feel too hot, they will start panting very quickly, like they are having a hard time breathing, which they really are. This is a serious situation, because if not addressed quickly, your dog may die. Therefore, make sure to not take your dog out when the temperature is too hot. Instead, take them out early in the morning or late in the afternoon. They should also have access to shade and fresh water at all times to keep themselves cool. With that said, if you're looking for a dog that can go on a hike with you or just simply play with you outside under the heat of the sun, then don't get a pug. Number 4. Do not get a pug if you're not patient with house training. As mentioned earlier, it is natural for pugs to be stubborn. It runs in their blood. Therefore, this breed will be more challenging to housebreak compared to other dogs. Because of this, pugs need an owner who is patient, consistent, and firm with the training. Otherwise, they may relieve themselves all over the house. When training your dog, it is important to use positive reinforcement techniques such as praises, playtime, and food rewards. This will ensure that your dog takes training as a rewarding memory. Regardless of the breed, never use harsh punishments to train your dog such as yelling and hitting as it will only lead them to being either shy or aggressive, 
which is not ideal for any dog breed. And we're already halfway through this video. So far, what do you think of the very adorable pug? Do you think they fit your home? Let us know your thoughts later on because, for now, we have more things to talk about these dogs. So, without further ado, let's continue. Number 5. Do not get a pug if you aren't ready for big vet bills. Pugs have big, bulging eyes. Combine this with their personality to explore and smell every corner, grass, or whatever, it is not impossible that they suffer accidents involving their eyes. Aside from this, pugs are also prone to several eye problems, including entropion, keratitis, corneal dystrophy, epiphora, progressive retinal atrophy, and more. With that said, as a responsible pug owner, you should always be prepared for the big veterinary bills. If you are not able to address your dog's health problem immediately, their condition may worsen, which can result in a more serious health issue. Number 6. Do not get a pug if you're not always around home. As mentioned earlier, pugs were bred for companionship. This means that they will need their human's attention in order for them to be happy. When you're at home, expect your pug to follow wherever you go. They are more active when they are young and will always invite you for some play sessions. As they grow old, these dogs will be more mellow and would enjoy cuddling with you on the couch. If you are not giving them enough attention, they will ask for it by showing you funny antics. However, if they feel unloved and neglected, these dogs will become very lonely, which can lead to depression and separation anxiety. For this reason, pugs aren't suitable for people who are always out to travel. When you have to leave for work, make sure that your pug has someone to keep him company, such as another family member or a friend or neighbor that you trust. Providing your dog with a variety of toys will also help to keep themselves entertained. Number 7. Do not get a pug if you cannot be firm with them. True, with their cute faces and funny acts, pugs are truly irresistible. However, if they know that you easily give in to their adorable acts, they will use it to get what they want. And knowing pugs, these dogs love to eat. They aren't picky with their food and will eat everything you give them. For example, if you're eating, your pug will come near you and do funny acts so you would give them a share of your food. You may think this is a one-time situation, but your dog will remember this and will do the same thing again the next time. And if this happens over and over again, your pug will become obese which can have adverse effects to their health. Therefore, you should be serious when training your dog. Let them know that you are the leader of the household in order for them to not outsmart you, and also for them to respect you and your commands. Number 8. Do not get a pug if you're looking for an outdoor dog. If you dream of having a dog that can patrol your home while you're away or while you're sleeping at night, then you should not get a pug. Pugs should not live in the yard or at the kennel. Not only will they get lonely, but these dogs are also not capable of protecting themselves from threats that may lurk around at night, such as wild predators. Therefore, these dogs should live with their families inside the house. Overall, pugs are the most adorable and loving companion for the right family. Again, unlike other dogs, pugs have their own special needs, such as keeping their folds clean to avoid infection and not to overexercise them to avoid heat stroke. With that said, if you're a person who has plenty of time to groom your dog and is able to always be by their side, then this breed is perfect for you. So long as you are able to provide them with their needs, you'll have a dog that will love you unconditionally and will give your home a better vibe with their bright personalities. And that ends our video for today. After watching this video, do you think you have what it takes to raise pugs? Feel free to comment down your thoughts below. As always, if you enjoyed today's content, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. 
To be notified when we upload new videos, make sure to click the notification bell button. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.